Welcome to the MTI 600 series unboxing video. In this video, we will explore the content of the development kit and see how it all works. So here we have an Xsense MTI 670 development kit, the GNSS INS version. Let's have a closer look and see what's inside. Here, we've got the actual sensor. As you can see, it is a pretty small sensor and the main features are the black connector, the mounting holes, also on the side some identifying stickers including an indication of the sensor axis. So let's have a look what's under the lid. As we can see we've got an ESD bag with the development board and the GNSS card. Next, we've got a USB cable. With that, also a ribbon cable. We've got one GNSS antenna. Lastly, we've got three screws. Just a small note, the MTI 630 development kit will not have the GNSS card or the GNSS antenna. So let's take a closer look at what we actually get. Here we've got the development board. Let's get it out of the bag and take a closer look. The main components of the board are the place to mount the MTI 600 series module, the extension socket for the GNSS card, which is clickboard compatible. This is the main USB connector to which we can connect the USB cable. Here are the serial and CAN connectors. And finally, this part is the UART to USB converter. You can break it off and use it standalone together with the ribbon cable. Now, uh, onto the easy stuff. Here's your micro USB cable. This cable is used to connect the development board to the PC. Here we have the GNSS antenna. With a standard SMA connector. Next we have a flat ribbon cable. This fits to the sensor directly. I'll show you later how that works. Now, before we mount the sensor on the development board, let's take a look at the ribbon cable. If you would like to use the sensor standalone without mounting it to a PCB, you can connect, you can connect it using a ribbon cable like this. The other side then connects to the converter and from there with USB to the PC, easy as that. Of course, you can access the UART RS232 CAN interface using the ribbon cable as well. Now, for the development board, we have the module. And can place it simply on the development board. It does not, it does not fall off on its own, but using the screws, we can secure it nicely. It's not necessary to over tighten them. Now, since it is now connected to the board, it also has access to the GNSS uh, data when available. If the MTI is mounted onto the development board, then you can still access the individual pins of the MTI using the pin header just below uh, the module. Using the switches on the development board, you can choose between different interfaces RS422, RS232, UART and USB. The CAN interface can be enabled through software. Now, that is the hardware part, onto the software side. If you go to xsense.com slash setup, you can very easily download the right software. We first choose the MTI series and then the operating system. Either you can choose Linux or Windows. In this case, we'll choose Windows. If you click on Windows, the download will start automatically. 
While it is downloading, in the meantime, you can register to our newsletter and stay up to date. For this video, we've already installed the software on the PC. Now let's open the MT Manager and connect the development board with the module to the computer. On the top left corner, you have an icon with a small magnifying glass. If you click that, it will search for available XS devices. If you then click the box and the box with the graph, you can see the real-time orientation data. The icon with the MTI and the gear wheel will allow you to configure all kinds of outputs and settings, but that is too much detail for now. Thank you for watching this unboxing video and the setup of the MTI 600 series development kit. If you have any questions or would like to order an MTI 600 series development kit, don't hesitate to contact your local representative.